okay, you are that high class sorcerer flinging rack spells all over the place, laughing as you fuel your spells with magic points. But magic comes at a cost. So what happens when your magic points reaches zero? Then what will you be doing, mighty sorcerer? Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is one of those short rules video when I take a rule from the uh, Mithras rule set and explain it in a little bit more detail. If you found this or any of the videos on my channel supportive, then please do consider liking, commenting and subscribing. It really does help my channel grow and gets the information about the wonderful rule set that is Mithras out to more people and if you'd like to directly support the channel then there is a super fan button down there I think it's a little dollar sign in a little heart yeah so you can press that and donate directly oh and if you stay right way to the end of this video I want to share with you what my perfect rule for casting spells and magic points and what should happen with you then okay then so let's get on with the video what actually happens when your magic point reaches zero so in the default Mithras game, when a character reaches um, zero magic points, then the character basically cannot cast any more spells, mainly because they have no power to fuel them. But if you're thinking like I often do, that casting spells and magic must take immense physical and mental strain on the body, then if those that sorcerer or um, magician is using all those points, then surely it has to have some effect on their body. And don't call me Shirley. Sorry, sorry, that's an old joke, but do let me know in the comments if you got it. Well, if you want to ensure that those spell-wielding characters really do feel the strain, then in the core rulebook, it does provide some alternatives to what will happen when the caster's magic points reach zero. And you can find that on page 117. So I'm not going to give you all the alternatives here in minute detail. I'm just going to summarize them here so you can get a little bit of an idea and then go off and use the rule book later. OK, then first up, fatigue. So with the default system, once the caster has zero magic points, no um, cast the casting of the spells is not allowed anymore. However, with this alternative, it is is so a character can actually cast spells without having any magic points i.e going to negative magic points so what happens in this um, example or this alternative is that as the caster uses up almost like negative magic points it starts to feel the strain and then it gains a level of fatigue for each point that it goes below zero. Now there is a slight alternative to this rule as well that as well as getting one level of fatigue they also take one hit point of damage to all their um, hit points locations for every magic point that they go below zero. Yep that could easily um, mean that the magic user or the caster is going to take a major wound eventually and could actually end up killing themselves while casting. So at first I was completely against this. The idea of going below negative hit magic points was completely alien to me. But um, the hero in me does actually enjoy this idea that a spellcaster can have a last ditch attempt at casting spells, saving the party or even killing the monster that they're battling. 
casting the last spell at the risk of their own life. Surely there is nothing as heroic as that. And don't call me. No, I'll leave it there. So the next alternatives involve willpower and unconsciousness. So the first one is really quite straightforward. Once you reach zero magic points, the character um, falls unconscious. It just passes out on the floor and is either eaten by the approaching monster or is left to block the exit so the rest of the party can escape. The second option in this section brings in a power, willpower skill check. So once the caster reaches zero magic points, there is a willpower check made. And if it's failed, then the caster falls unconscious. Now, if they stay awake, i.e. if they succeed the roll, then they can continue to cast spells below zero magic points. However, each time they cast another spell, they have to make a further willpower check with the difficulty grading increasing by one each time. So this seems like a nice combination of both options that I've mentioned in this section. They could continue to cast below um, into negative magic points, but there is a price. Now, the final option or the final alternative is the most, well, harsh, in, in my opinion. And this involves death. So what happens in this situation is that when the caster reaches zero magic points, they need to make an endurance check, a bit like fatigue. However, if they fail, they die. Now, I do think that this is rather harsh. First, it would mean that characters might as well just have one less magic point because you're never ever going to use that last point unless there is an extreme situation and that you really need to, you know, cast a spell. And secondly, who would play a caster? You know, I think... I think I still would, but I would probably go through a lot of casters within the course of the campaign because every now and again I'm going, fail my job, dead. That would be it. So those are the alternatives that are in the core rule book. Do you implement one of these into your campaign or do you just use the default setting? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for staying right to this part of the video. It really helps me and my retention analytics. So I do really appreciate it. So what would be my perfect solution to depleting magic points? So I have to say at this point, um, I haven't implemented this yet, but there is a situation about to occur in our actual play videos, which is about the Queen of the Harpies, that I am going to implement it as a play test to see how it works out. So the first part of it is that I really do think the casting of spells should take their toll on the physical and mental attributes of a character. So for this reason, I would impose a willpower check every time a spell is cast. Now, if they fail this check, then they would gain one level of fatigue and would have to do the usual things to get rid of it. Now, in order to reflect the difficulty of casting spells, folk magic would be an easy roll, while sorcery would be a standard roll. However, with the sorcery spells, each two elements that are altered by shaping, i.e. say range and number of targets, this would increase the difficulty grade of that willpower check by one. So if the sorcerer was using shaping points to um, change two aspects of a spell, then instead of it being a standard willpower check, it would be a hard 
willpower check. And theists don't get away easy either. Their spell casting would require a standard willpower roll, and with this increasing to hard if they're going to use their devotion pool to fuel that spell. Now, uh, before you all start typing in the comments, there's one other uh, additional exception to this proposed rule. Um, in our campaign, we use fatigue in combat. So after two or three rounds, um, players or characters need to make an endurance check to avoid one level of fatigue. Now, if casters were in combat casting spells, then I would not ask them to make this roll, um, mainly because they would be gaining fatigue from casting the spells. And that seems to be uh, a reasonable payoff. And let's face it, we don't want them to be asleep for the whole adventure. And that's it. So do let me know in the comments below what you think about my idea, whether you think it's too harsh, as well as what system you use in your campaign when casters reach zero hit points. Next month, I'm going to have a look at where those magic points could come from. And yes, there's going to be some interesting ideas coming from that. Until next time, I hope all your opposed roles are successful and award you with a well-deserved special. Thanks for listening, everyone. Happy role-playing. See ya. Bye.